Leaves have not changed color yet, but mm -hmm. signs of fall are certainly starting to pop up around us. Yes, and that includes the infamous woolly worm. Yeah, you love those. <laughs> News yes. 10's Matt Brooks spoke with a biologist about signs of autumn you don't want to miss. After many posts, emails, and phone calls, I've had no choice but to dig deeper into one of the sure signs of fall. That's the appearance of the woolly bear caterpillar or the woolly worm. Unlike the myth, it turns out their appearance isn't a great predictor of the weather. One of the folklore about the woolly bear caterpillars or the woolly worms is that the length of their brown stripe in the middle might be an indication of winter. That's not really true. Really that intensity of that brown stripe really more has to do with how well the spring was, how well they grew during the summer. Concerning numbers that people see can depend on being in the right place at the right time and correctly identifying the caterpillars. There are many others across the valley that look similar but lack the brown stripe in the middle. I've noticed uh, in some years lots of woolly bear caterpillars, in some years not that many, uh, but I think a lot of that just has to do with observer bias and where you are. There's different populations of woolly worms around the Wabash Valley. Some come out earlier than others. Other stunning visual cues you can find include the appearance of the beautiful but deadly jack-o'-lantern mushrooms, fern shoots, and the appearance of goldenrod, just to name a few. We still have a while to go before the colors peak during the third week of October, but these and maybe a little pumpkin spice will hopefully tide you over in the meantime. In Terre Haute, Matt Brooks, News 10.